Hey everyone, I'm Rob Scott from UC Today and we're bringing you all the latest news and conversation from the unified communications and collaboration space. So today I'm joined by ASC Technologies and we're going to be discussing compliance recording and analytics for Microsoft Teams. Welcome everybody. Hi. Hey Rob. Thanks for having us. Well, good to see you both. Uh, just before we get started, however, how about we just do a quick round of introductions. Uh, Gerald, would you like to go first? Sure. I'm Gerald, CEO of ASC Technologies. Look, I'm, I guess, what you would call a true comms guy, right? I've been in comms all my career. I was on the board of Unified One Point. I ran Enphone, a European UCAS company, as a CEO. And I joined ASC five years ago as CEO with a clear mandate of bringing the, cloud, the company to the cloud. And let me spend a couple of sentences on ASC Technologies, right? Um, we're a bit of an untypical cloud company in the sense we've been around for more than 50 years, but today we're a true software and cloud company, right? Um, we are German-based, but very much global in scope. And what we do is we record and analyze communications, typically for finance customers, for call centers, across all verticals, really, and for public sector, public safety customers. That's great, thank you. And Catherine? Sure, I'm Katrin and I'm the president of ASC Americas. I'm with ASC for more than 20 years now and I have held several positions at ASC uh, starting at headquarters in Germany. This includes sales, marketing and business development. But two years ago, I moved to the United States to develop the business with our strategic partners, especially with Microsoft. And last year, I took over the management of our subsidiary here in North America. And I'm really proud to represent AC in the North American market, especially with such a fast growing cloud user base. AC has, is a global company with 13 subsidiaries worldwide. And with this, we ensure our local support for our customers and our partners. Fantastic. Thank you. And um, you know, thank you so much for joining me. So, I mean, to keep things off, I mean, the hybrid workplace is here now, isn't it? And, and the Microsoft Teams is, is now connected to, what, 250 million users now. So how are enterprises coping with staying compliant in this, in this new world? Yeah, Rob, I mean, the, the, the takeout of Teams is absolutely amazing, right? I mean, the trend to the cloud and the trend, the take-up of Teams was in place even before COVID-19. But what we saw really in the last 18, 24 months is an absolute acceleration of that trend, right? Enterprises, public institutions doing everything to enable their workforce to be able to productively work from anywhere, basically, right? From home, from mobile, from wherever. And for that, Teams is just such a strong tool. Um, so that is, and that's the one thing we're seeing. What amazed me personally, I got to admit, is actually the take up in regulated industries as well. Because I mentioned a minute ago, Rob, my mandate is clearly to bring ASC into the cloud. I started that five years ago, and the first years, wasn't, I wasn't so much successful, right? And I, was, I started talking to our customers and trying to understand why they're not moving to the cloud. I remember one conversation with this chief strategy officer of a Swiss bank where he would tell me, look, Gerald, I will take my communication to the cloud as soon as Microsoft has its Azure data center in Switzerland. And this is exactly what we are seeing now on a global scale. So Microsoft Azure is considered really as a secure infrastructure. And also in the financial industry, and especially now with the Microsoft Cloud for Financial Services, this is the case. So we see how fast the perception of our customers has changed during the last years. So this was not expected at all from our side. And come back to your question, Rob. I mean, Teams take up is the one piece. The other question is for regulated customers. How do I stay compliant in that? I mean, clearly those customers need capabilities beyond the basic onboard Teams recording. And kudos to Microsoft for that, right? They realized that very early on. My first conversation with Microsoft, they were saying, for us to be able to win finance customers, we need a compliance API. So they started the development of that API in 2018, and ASC, together with two other competitors, actually joined that as software development partners with Microsoft in as early as 2018. And that is what we see with our customers, right? Our customers in that business, they look for certainty. They look for a certified solution and they look for a proven solution. And that is actually where we benefit from actually working on this since, like I said, 2018 now. 
And that's really what's, what's happening in, 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 in the market, right? We see large institutions, large financial institutions, several thousand users, down to small institutions, like 10 users, rolling out compliance for teams alongside the team's role. And sometimes the regulator helps, quite frankly, right? In some markets, we have uh, the regulator actually reminding the financial institutions that they need compliance as they roll out teams. That's right, Sherrod. And we initially really focused mainly on the financial market because of the regulations we saw. But now customers from all industry can come, come on board, from healthcare or from utility and even from the, um, uh, from the public sector. Uh, we see customers asking uh, for our solution and uh, implementing it already. So this was also a surprise for us. And because they also see the additional benefit of the analytics uh, functionality they have now with Microsoft uh, Cognitive Services. So this is just like, okay, I have to uh, record also in other markets or in some markets I would like to record and I would also like to leverage the analytics functionality I have for Microsoft. Yeah, it's interesting. Isn't it? So, you know, we've got lots of informal and formal environments, contact centers and phone systems moving, you know, to Microsoft Teams. What are the top challenges you are seeing amongst your customers, Gerald? Look, there is a lot of challenges, right? The, I guess the good news is that all of those can be navigated, right? I mean, clearly there's some technical, some process challenge. Um, I believe the most, the biggest challenge for the, the CIOs at this moment is speed, right? I mean, clearly they're managing a tidal change in terms of work environment. And they got to be quick in doing that. They got to be quick in defining the communication infrastructure of the future. And obviously, alongside that, they need to decide what does the recording and compliance infrastructure of the future look like. If they don't do that, if they don't do that in parallel, they risk high fines because regulators are pretty closely looking at this topic, right? So my recommendation is always make recording and compliance an integral part of your team's migration. Don't make it an afterthought. Um, and another another uh, another challenge we're seeing is we're seeing some some customers not using the full full potential of Teams, right? I mean, they, they're kind of using an existing on-premise PBX infrastructure and just laying over Teams as as a chat platform, and that is not leveraging the full potential of Teams, and it doesn't allow us to leverage the full potential of recording and compliance as a cloud service. Yeah, that's a really good point, isn't it? And, and Catherine, would you like to jump in there as well? For my side, there's also a cultural aspect to look at it. So it's not just a shift of technology. So it's a shift of company culture as well. So therefore, communication is king. I can only recommend that you take all your team members on board on your journey when you start this journey. So um, one part of it is that IT and communication uh, departments were strictly separate before and now they grew together. So you have now all the people together on board and security aspects around Teams platform has to be validated from all the team members very, very early on stage. So <clears throat> all st stakeholders needs to be on board to change as an organization. And um, also what you have to keep in mind is that users don't want to use a technology. They just want like to have support for their daily work. So they would like to have seamless processes and more efficiency in their daily work. And this is what you have to, to keep in mind and also to communicate with your users. Yeah, it's, I mean, for organizations moving to Microsoft Teams, it's, for some organizations, it's a huge seismic shift in terms of how they work, right? So. I mean, com compliance across all these new channels and you know, you've got team channels, you've got messaging, you've got voice, you've got all sorts happening. I mean, compliance is a complex topic. So, you know, Gerald, what, what advice would you give to any organization looking to move their communications and contact center infrastructure into Microsoft Teams? Well, I, Rob, I guess your question implies the answer, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be complex. I mean, when, we, when we incepted AC Recording Insights, our mission was really to make recording and compliance for Microsoft Teams easy. Easy for the compliance officer, easy for the user, easy for the system admin actually. So we really focused on making it easy to use, right? For the end users, for the co compliance officers, by making it part of the UI. Recording Insights is really an integral part uh, of the Teams 
UI as it is a native Teams app, right? It's an integral part of team of the, the Azure Active Directory that allows the compliance officer to define rights, rules, regulations on a group and a user level. The same really applies for the system admin, right? I mean, system admin, ease of deployment, ease of support. As a cloud service, we can set this up in hours. I, I literally had banks call me saying, Gerald, I have, uh, I have the regulator on my back because I'm using Teams and I don't have compliance today. How quickly can you set this up? And my answer would be, well, how quickly can you contract? Because technically I can have you live tomorrow. I'm sure your legal guys will take more time than that, but technically you can live, be live tomorrow, right? It's a cloud service. There is no deployment. There is no installation. There is no setup. It's a provisioning of an existing cloud service. Yeah, I think that's certainly the beauty of the cloud, isn't it? Being able to spin these applications and services up within minutes, I suppose, uh, which, which compared with conventional call recording platforms, you know, where you, you know, there's a lot days and days involved in the inst installing these things. So, so Catherine, from your perspective, what advice would you give organizations looking to move their communications and contact centers to Microsoft Teams? So my advice would really be to leverage the entire technology. And we talked a lot about compliance recording and using this in a regulated market because this is recommended and required. But beyond that, other technologies available right now, which provides much more efficiency for organizations. Like we use Microsoft Cognitive Services for analytics. So this provides uh, really insights into communication with your customers and gives you um, um, gives you hints about your compliance risk in your organization. So, and my advice would really be to, to leverage this to also fulfill your uh, regulations in the market. So our customers have regulations like FINMA, uh, MIFID, FCA, Dodd-Frank, and this is like, um, you have to um, fulfill this and to have uh, the entire corporate communication in, in scope. With analytics, it's very easy to cover the entire communication and to find the risk uh, overall and not just um, on a specific point. That's a really good point as well, isn't it? Um, okay, Gerald, uh, would you mind talking us through a little bit about the ASC solution? You know, tell us about how you approach Microsoft Teams compliance. Sure, sure. I mean, we touch upon it from many angles, right? Makes sense to summarize that. Um, look, it's like I mentioned, Rob, it's a native Teams app, right? And that is actually more important than the two words imply, right? If you, if anybody watching this, go on Teams, go on the left, on, on, on your left column, there's three little dots at the bottom. Click those dots, you get to the Teams app store. And then enter recording. And there will be just one, just one compliance recording and analytics app coming up, and that is ASC Recording Insights. Um, because, like I said, we from the beginning chose to make this the native Teams app run as a pure Azure service, fully integrated into the Active Directory. Like I said, that allows you to manage your rules and uh, entitlements fully on the AD level. Um, plus, it has the nice side effect actually on a recording level. There is no personal data except for the Azure Identifier, which nobody can really use to do anything with. Right, um, Rob, you mentioned, right? I mean, this is Teams is not voice, right? It is not a PBX replacement. So we clearly make sure we treat all media identical, voice, chat, screen, video. This is a 360 degree compliance solution. We focus on fast and easy provisioning, fast and easy expansion, right? We have some of Katrin's customers saying, I want to turn on my Hong Kong office can do that again within hours because the service, we go wherever Azure goes. And we, lever on, we leverage on the, the, nice, uh, the nice capabilities that Azure gives you, right? In terms of high availability, right? We have service clusters on a geo redundancy um, uh, scale that probably only the largest corporates globally would actually consider building for themselves, right? Um, the same in terms of uh, encryption security, we, we use the Azure onboard encryption, and we layer an ASC level of encryption on top of that. And that can be ASC keys, it can be customer keys. We provide flexibility in terms of storage, it can be ASC Azure storage, it can be customer Azure storage, it can even be on-premise, right? Um, but what is important 
we, we quality assure the full chain from the team's meeting point, through the capture, through the processing, through the storage, right? The whole chain is monitored and is assured. And if anything along that chain breaks, we alarm it. And on top of that, like Katrin just mentioned, we layer on top compliance policies. Look, Rob, I mean, we've, I've played quite a bit in my career with AI engines. What Microsoft Cognitive Services provides to you is just beautiful and it's powerful. And we use that to provide compliance AI on top of anything we record. That's really interesting. And I'd love to kind of delve you know, dig more deeply into Microsoft Cognitive Services and what it can do. But uh, I suppose we'll have to save that one for another day. Uh, Katrin, would you like to add anything to that? Yeah, I would just like to summarize because in a nutshell, ASC Recording Insights is just a team set that securely captures the entire communication within teams and makes sure that our customers stay compliant with all the legal regulations. And that in a very, very easy way, as Gerald just explained, from onboarding until use. So it's very easy and very secure. Yeah, it's absolutely. And, and that is what organizations need and, and, and want in today's world, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, so any, for anyone out there looking to find out more, Katri, what's the best way for uh, you know, organizations to connect with ASC? Yeah, very easy. So they can just go to our website, acetechnologies.com. They find a short movie about our solution, but also some contact templates. So just get in contact with us. You get a demo from us. So you, will, um, you can just um, onboard the next day when you want. <laughs> you can have a free trial. But as Gerald already mentioned, so you find us also in the Microsoft Teams uh, App Store. So just type in recording and here we are, you are. So you find ASC. Or reach out to one of our many partners, right? We are partner centric organizations. We work with many operators, system integrators, resellers, reach out to one of our many partners and the partner and ASC will be there to support you. Fantastic. Hey, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, it's been really good talking about ASC and how you're connecting into that Microsoft Teams world. So thanks for joining me. Thank you. Thanks Rob. And that's it for months. If you've enjoyed today's session, please subscribe to UC Today News and give this video a quick share on social as it's always appreciated. And if you're a UC fan and want to be part of the conversation, you can join us using the UC News hashtag on LinkedIn, Twitter and Facebook. And our social links are in the description. I'm Rob Scott from UC Today. Thanks for watching.